Troubleshooting pneumatic injection pump governor failures. So in our last video, or one of our more recent videos, we talked about this pneumatically controlled injection pump that was used in four-cylinder Mercedes diesels. And when you have a bad pneumatic governor, things start to get real weird. The cars run really rich. They smoke a lot. They miss and stumble. Uh, they start drinking diesel. Uh, when you decelerate from, from high speed, they they misfire and shake and do all sorts of weird things at traffic lights. And that's all because of this pneumatic governor. Now, I don't know how many of you have had this issue. We're gonna talk about two potential problems with this pump that can occur. And one of them is going to be on cars that are operational and the other is gonna be on cars that are non-operational. So, operational. This is the leather diaphragm. Let's see if I can get it to move. Sorry, Thomas. This diaphragm actually sits underneath this rear cover that I had that I had showed you. And what you want to do is you want to use a flashlight to inspect the diaphragm for holes. This diaphragm can tear, and when it tears, well, all I have to say is, God help you, because uh, it it not only will tear uh, very, very slightly to begin with, but it'll keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse until you develop these weird symptoms. Any little hole will affect how the car runs, but usually a small hole is really hard to detect unless you're kind of experienced with these cars. A large hole is usually gonna be a real obvious problem. Now, one of the other issues that we run into with these cars is a stuck rack. And you can see that when I, when I move the rack out into the, uh, into the shutoff position, it pushes the diaphragm back into the lean position. We'll call this the running position, but I should be able to push this in. If the rack is stuck, and it's sort of stuck, let's say in this outward position like this, and this won't push in, and it especially won't affect this lever because the two are connected, then you know that you need to get your rack unstuck, and this will cause your 115 or 110 diesel to not run. So you have to start by removing this screw. I don't have the tool to remove it, but underneath it is a threaded pin with a six millimeter thread where you can move the pump rack back and forth. And usually if you soak the end shuttle here in PB Blaster and fill the pump up with oil or diesel or something, eventually exercising the rack back and forth with this thing and this bolt in the end right here, in and out, in and out, you will eventually get it to move. It should be a pretty simple movement too. but. If you can just get it, even if it drags just a little bit, you know, even if it has a little drag, the engine will still run. It may run a little rich. It may not respond instantly to throttle like it should, but it will eventually work itself loose if you can get it 50% of the way there. So if you ever buy a non-running 115 diesel that's been sitting for a long time, it needs to do that. The rack needs to be able to move. Now, not a lot of people know about pump racks, but they're fairly simple. All they do is control the metering settings for this pump. And if you have the pump out, you can remove these four screws and actually see the rack in motion, opening and closing. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Please tap the bell for notifications. And if you're a Patreon member, as of the date we recorded this video, we dropped our 300SD W116 long format video. So I hope you guys get to see it. And uh, it'll be available to the public soon, but Patreon first. And um, if you're thinking of rescuing an older 115 diesel, remember to check this diaphragm and check the fuel rack to make sure the car will run like it's supposed to. And it'll probably come right back to life. I mean, they're pretty good cars. So, you know, these, these do occur as the cars sit longer and longer, but overall, they usually bounce right back. 
All right, enjoy working on your classic Mercedes. I'll see you in the next video.